How are you doing? This is Martin from Gardens for Life. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to plant Jerusalem artichokes into no dig beds, just like these ones behind me. We always recommend planting Jerusalem artichokes into a permanent location where if you don't maintain them you can actually just leave them there and they'll just kind of take over a corner of your garden and you can just harvest them as you please every winter um, thereafter and um, if you do plant them into uh, pots you kind of have to keep them watered in the summer they do require quite a large pot as well and uh, just be aware of that and once you plant them out into the garden they don't require any maintenance at all other than just to keep them kind of harvest them back that's what we do if you want to really keep them at bay you could actually plant them into a raised bed with um, with wooden sides that will actually stop the, the roots from actually traveling and you can also uh, put down a root barrier if you wish uh, we don't do that because we're just going to um, basically harvest them back so far that we can just replant them next year and they won't actually pop up everywhere. These garden beds are really simple. We just basically smothered the grass for a few months with um, black plastic, like I'll show you here. And then we just covered it with um, mushroom compost. Basically this mushroom compost was only about two or three months old, but I would recommend keeping it in a big pile um, for a bit longer, maybe at least three or four months anyway for it to break down a bit more. But this stuff will be okay to plant some stuff into. I think uh, root vegetables will be fine. They're not too sensitive about that, I don't think, um, in terms of the acidity. So we're gonna plant these Jerusalem artichokes here. This is actually a Chinese variety. And there is another variety here. That's Red Fusio. So we're gonna plant those kind of separate one to one side with a row of carrots in between and the other here and we've covered this ground with um, some volcanic rock dust which i'll show you over here here you already have some volcanic rock dust show the front of it that's what it looks like the material itself hang on yeah that's what the rock dust looks like and um, i basically just spread that on a day when it's not windy not now because it's too windy today but uh, we did that yesterday just to loosen it up a little bit we decided to uh, just fork it through a little bit the first time and then in coming years we will not be doing that anymore maybe we'll use a broad fork to loosen up slightly but we'll see about that because we're still concerned about our soil structure at least in the growing spaces of course anytime we're using uh, machinery or that kind of thing or maybe a tractor we have, uh, we're just driving on the path here instead of the actual growing space. Same as the paths here. You can kind of see them here. We're gonna put wood chips on them, just a little bit of wood chips. And uh, that's where we would walk. And uh, they're actually just narrow enough so you can actually step over them as well. Which is really important when you're walking through the garden. So I reckon that Jerusalem artichokes, like these ones, um, are best to, um, plant directly into your growing beds because there is not really any benefit or no need actually to pot them up um, let's say in advance to give them an extension on the season by keeping them in the greenhouse for example and uh, getting them growing them on let's say from January onwards I don't think it's worthwhile because I think they know best when to come out they are building roots underground until the frost is gone they'll be okay I think and all the tubers generally speak can actually wake up at the same time no matter where you keep them you can keep them in a greenhouse or outside and they still wake up you can't fool them so I'm just gonna lay these out um, just basically one every uh, every foot or so because uh, these ones are actually quite large ones so you want to give them probably a bit more space than smaller ones so something like that kind of layout I and mean, you could do rows but whatever I mean, this is kind of going to be 
I think, I, well, hopefully so anyway, um, this bed is going to be filled with Jerusalem artichokes at the end of the season. And we're going to make a video about that too. Just to see exactly, to give a good comparison and see how much yield you get off a garden bed with a foot worth of compost. Especially considering this compost is not even a year old yet. It's only about three or four months old. So. I'm really excited now to actually see how much yield we're going to get from this one garden bed. I know this one here is a bit wider than the rest of them because it's kind of an odd bed at the end here, but I think I think these Jerusalem artichokes are gonna love it here. Um, and let's see how many we'll get out of it. I think how many is there here? About probably about 35, maybe 30 or 35 fairly large ones actually planted, and uh, which is about the equivalent um, of well you saw it earlier, probably a three quarters of a bucket or so. Alright, so let's make a start and get some of these actually planted. We're probably gonna plant them about at least four inches from the top and um, just to make sure that they get a good run of soil like they'll be they'll come up through probably 20 centimeters worth of stuff anyway not a bother they're sunchucks they grow about uh, two and a half three meters tall in some cases even three and a half Now, let me catch my breath for after that for a minute. Um, this is basically was 35, maybe 30 large juice marichokes um, planted here in this bed. Now, there'll be very little maintenance and I suspect that they might actually grow so tall they might fall over with the wind, especially if there's a stronger wind. So we basically have no maintenance with them whatsoever now, except for the fact, of course, it maybe make a little trellis or a fence around it just to stop them from falling over but I actually don't mind if they do because um, I planted them here at the edge of the garden on purpose just so if the southwesterly wind which is the prevailing wind here actually if they f if, if they fall over they just fall over into the hedgerow there so I don't mind and um, other than that I don't think even it'll require watering probably not I never actually watered any of our Jerusalem artichokes um, that I ever planted outdoors, at least the ones that weren't planted in pots anyway. And um, they just do better this way. And if you plant Jerusalem artichokes in pots, you'll just have to keep up with watering uh, most of the summer. So that's a bit of maintenance there. But um, we'll harvest these ones um, probably at the end of November, maybe in December. And we'll um, make a video about it and show you. And until then, please follow and subscribe and uh, watch our other videos or follow our other videos. And um, please let us know if you have any questions below. And thanks a million for watching and please give us a thumbs up. Thanks a million. All the best. Bye bye.